All right, continuing my astrology series on what happens when you have the sun in different signs in your natal chart. Um, currently, we're doing the sun in Scorpio. So what happens when your sun, which is your, again, your uh, core sense of self, your identity, your personal self-expression, sort of the energy and pattern you carry through life, um, just your general sense of self, um, what happens when that goes into the sign of Scorpio? Now, what is the sign of Scorpio? The sign of Scorpio is essentially a sign of deep research. It's a sign of trying to discover the unknown. Um, and it's a sign of trying to use that unknown um, information to make personal and social changes. Um, so this is not a bad position for the sun to be in um, for numerous reasons. Uh, the first one being that the sun is a, that has the elemental, like, the sun's element is basically fire. And the sign of Scorpio is ruled by Mars, even though it's a water sign. Actually, the sign of Scorpio has three rulers. Mars, the south node of the moon, and Pluto. And the south node of the moon and Mars are both fire energies, just like the sun. And because of this, these people... If you have the sun in this sign, it tends to gel really well. The deep research of plunging into unknown um, abysses of information, essentially, it works very, very well with the solar energy of your life purpose and your core self-expression. Um, the energy of Pluto, which co-rules the sign of Scorpio, um, it can be a little bit annoying to the sun, but because it constantly is revising over things and rechecking things, it's a very negative watery energy. However, because the other two energies of this sign are fire-based and the sun is fire-based, this tends to be a pretty, not necessarily even positive um, relationship with the sun, with the suns here. It's not necessarily positive, but it is very productive. So because it's a water sign, these people can be prone to depression and emotional issues, but I would say that because the sign of Scorpio is ruled by Mars, and Mars is about getting stuff done, essentially, and um, sort of digging into complex issues, um, these people tend to, if, as long as they can keep busy there and use all the energy that they have, they will typically not succumb to an extreme amount of depression unless they have a lot of other water placements and then it just becomes overbearing. Um, like I believe Kurt Cobain's chart was almost entirely water placements uh, and that's where you get somebody who, you know, produces a lot of cool stuff but then eventually um, ends up, you know... I'm not saying that if you have a bunch of water placements that you're going to Kurt Cobain yourself. Don't worry, that's not... That's a special case, but... In general, water energy can be prone to depression. Now, with the sign of Scorpio, they typically don't have a problem with being idle. Um, that, although that can be, happen if the person is a Scorpio ascendant. But if the sun's in Scorpio, these people tend to be um, pretty active. The only main issues that people with sun in Scorpio can have, there, there are two. One is they don't feel like they can handle the intensity of the information that they're being compelled to dig into. So, for instance, they might get into something that's really deep, like sacred geometry or quantum mechanics or um, some sort of like mass scale sociology. And because of this, they can get crushed and sort of overwhelmed because there's so much to learn there that you can't even do it all in one lifetime. So they can... Um, be overwhelmed by that and get depressed sometimes. Um, and then the other thing that can afflict people with their son and Scorpio occasionally is just they feel like there's so much to do and nobody knows anything, so why do I even want to start this journey toward doing whatever? But usually that's only an issue up until maybe the age of 24, and then if you reach, like... Um, age like 24 onward these people uh, get their their revitalization um, these people tend to have pretty tough childhoods because they have a lot of um, 
they don't they feel like they don't know anything whereas the other signs like the more simple signs like Taurus and Aries their sign they're basically their mission is is kind of cut out for them it's like all right for Taurus it's like you need to make money and for Aries it's like you need to go achieve your goals but for Scorpio it's like your goals are so massive and so deep that you can't finish them in a lifetime nobody can um for one of the reasons being that the the one of the main co-rulers of this sign Pluto takes 248 years to do a complete orbit so these people will almost always be unfulfilled in their life but if they persevere and keep working and keep working they will be they will typically be remembered long after they are deceased as um, because they make massive contributions to whatever they chose to research. Although it might take them many decades to actually feel like they've gotten anywhere in uncovering the massive amount of information this world holds. Um, so that's part of the sun in the sign of Scorpio. The final part that I'll um, talk about is the opposition of the sun. So remember in all the other videos I've said the solar opposition is um, always debilitated. So the opposite sign of Scorpio is Taurus. So Taurus represents your finances, your wealth, and your ability to experience pleasure and joy and sort of um, material, nice material things like cake and candy and food and all that kind of stuff. So these people, they tend to not be super interested in that kind of thing because they're just basically hungry for information. Like they feel like they know so little about the world and the world is such a colossal mystery to them that the superficial sort of like materialist stuff doesn't really face them. They, they get bored by that really easily and because they feel like they've already seen it. And because like they uncover such crazy stuff in their research, like you know, they might find all types of weird, like, porn and all types of weird, like, cool things that you can create that are just so much better than any sort of superficial, like, oh, look at this coconut cake. And they're like, yeah, but, like, you can make, you know, six different flavors of, like, tiramisu. And the, whereas the tourist person would be like, I don't understand that. Like, I don't get it. That's, what is that even? Like, you know, you're you're cooking all this weird stuff, like it's good, but I don't get it. So they, they don't care really about the superficial pleasure judgments because through their research, they kind of uncover that anyway um, and uncover all the crazy things that you can experience, but they just are never satisfied and they're hungry for more and more information. So um, that is my analysis of the sun in the sign of Scorpio.